Hi everybody, it's Sophia here from IncreasedSocialReach.com and I'm a social media success um, strategist and trainer. And today uh, I'm going to talk about the best practices in groups and um, where to find your ideal audience. So when I say the best practices in social media um, social media networking groups uh, it can be for Facebook it can be for LinkedIn groups the, the best practices are always the same okay so let's let's talk about um, how how do you you got to keep track of um, this database um, this uh, this um, noise in all the groups so uh, what I do is I keep a database Right, I keep a database with all the groups that I have, um, with um, you know the rules that each group has, and um, if there are any promotional threads, which days are the threads, and what kind of audience the group has. So um, you want to be in groups that have your audience, ideally, uh, because then, um, you know, you're going to give uh, value um, to that group and um, give value to that group. And eventually, you know, they're going to start to create um, a trust um, within that same group. Um, so, I wanted to also another thing about groups is um, quantity is not important. It's the quality that really matters. So uh, what I do uh, ever so often and has been talked uh, quite a lot last week is do a little bit of a spring clean on your groups. Okay, so you know you might have joined specific groups that you just wanted to monitor and see how they are doing. And eventually, you don't see any um, any activity, any interest from the other members of that group. So I would suggest that you just leave the group and try and find another group that really wants you and wants what you have to give. Um, so ever so often, you know, probably every month, just look at um, the groups that you're not really getting engagement engagement from, or um, you know, interested in what you have to your business has to give. So just delete yourself from those groups. Um, also, um, what was I going to say? So you know. It's important that you keep track of the groups that you have and, um, you know, keep on uh, posting and giving value, not spamming because Facebook is very strict with that at the moment and other groups as well, LinkedIn groups as well, very strict with that. Like last year, um, the rules for the LinkedIn groups have changed. So... Okay, so what I can do now is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you um, some little tips on how you can find your audience. So if you know exactly who your audience is, okay, um, you can actually go to their, um, you know, uh, personal profile and if they have groups within their personal profile, so let me let me just try. So, for example, I'll just go and look at Lisa. Lisa Vaz. She's a lady from another group that I've been interacting with. Um, and I'm really interested in what she does because, you know, it could be some synergies or it could be some collaborations with other people. So it doesn't really matter um, 
who they are if they are doing even if they are doing the same as you um, it's always nice to see where where are they interacting and um, what are they doing you know how are they um, posting in groups so you, you should monitor all that and of course then adjust to your own self so let me just So what you do, you go to the personal profile of the person and you then have, um, you go to the more tab and right down below you've got the groups that Lisa um, belongs to. Okay, so just have a look and see actually if it's something that, it's, if it's a group that maybe you would like to belong to. So, for example, I work with coaches. So I'm interested in groups that have coaches and coaches that need my help with a social media marketing, social media um, management and st strategy. So you just go through it. And sometimes you can actually see some other friends of yours that belong to the same group. And then... Um, you might think, oh, if they are on it, on that group, maybe it's worth having a look. Um, so you just go through, and you can do this for your influencers. So let's say um, Lisa Nichols is a public figure. Let's see if she's got any groups there. No, she's taken the groups out. Okay. So that won't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you have to really, you know, make a list of some of the influencers that you want to follow. Um, let's do another one. So Gina V is another um, very successful coach. So just have a look what groups has she got, for example. Gina doesn't have any groups neither. <laughs> okay. So um, you, can, you can also hide these groups if you want to. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, you want to be as visible as possible um, to, other, to other people. So um, this public figure, this public people, um, they don't want, they don't need to other people to know where they are really hanging out. Um, and the same thing with um, LinkedIn. So let's go to LinkedIn. With LinkedIn, you can do the same for groups. So if you know somebody that um, works in the same kind of industry as you, so let's have a look. Um, for example, Shell Andrews, the coach that I know. Um, you can have a look at what groups does she belong to right at the end of her profile. And I believe you cannot hide your groups on LinkedIn. So you can see the connections that she has as well and uh, the groups that she belongs to. So you can go in and actually have a, a good look at what groups. So for example, we both belong to this group called Business Builders. Um, so just, you know, you just have a look basically in what, um, what groups are relevant for yourself. So like Hampshire Business, for example, uh, it doesn't have a lot of uh, members it's also very important to kind of not um, not join groups that are very overpopulated uh, because then the conversations start to get really, really fast and you start struggling with that. I mean, there's been groups that I've joined. Um, one group, for example, uh, that I've joined last year around October time, which is uh, Brave Entrepreneurs. That is started with just a few hundred and look at it, it's just going right to 6,000 at the moment. And it can get quite, it can get quite, um, 
busy and noisy. Um, my strategy with gr in groups is I keep an eye, every so often I go in and I keep an eye on conversations. So um, I'm listening to people, I'm listening to what people are struggling and I'm giving value then. I'm responding, I'm answering, I'm giving ideas and that's, that's my visibil visibility plan for groups. It's always um, quite important to just not post in a group and run. You know, you need to see if what you've posted is going to create engagement. Um, and they might have questions that you can answer, etc. cetera. Uh, what else we can talk about? Um, about groups so really to, to manage your groups properly um, if you keep a database of you, all your groups and you keep your posts what type of posts you want to put in each specific group all in the same place then it's easier to interact weekly um, you know if you allocate half an hour for the groups per day um, it, you know, you can create a, a good following. Um, for scheduling in groups, right? So I'm admin of some groups and I um, schedule my posts to admin. But last year, the rule has changed within Facebook. So you can't really schedule with a social media management tool into a group unless you're an admin of that group. Um, so like I said, you can schedule, uh, to your, if you own a group, you can schedule to your own group. So this one is my group and I'm ad admin of some other, a couple of more groups. So I can schedule directly from my scheduling tool, um, straight into the group. Okay. So, um, so now I just want to briefly, I want to keep this very short um, as there's no questions for this specific call. I just want to keep it short and to the point and just um, emphasize on the best practices um, to interact with other, with other groups. Um, I also would like to show you um, the a sneak peek of my social media starter kit. Okay, um, this is an event. So this this uh, course, the starter kit course, is a course for those of you that are either starting um, your own business or maybe you're still in your nine to five, and you want to create a system. You want to create, um, you know, a, a structure for for managing your social sites. Um, and also, it can be for others that are just starting with um, social media management. So they want to have a, a focus and a purpose when they're managing their, their own sites. So on this course, you're going to have um, four modules. And everything I do within social media is with a purpose, with a purpose of driving traffic to my website and converting my website a specific call to actions. So um, the starter kit is composed of four modules. And of course, like everything else, we start with setting your goals. Okay. Um, so on module number one, um, you're going to have um, a worksheet where you where you can um, set your specific goals like SMART uh, objectives to your goals so um, I show you how to reverse engineer the goals and um, how to break them all down into small little parts uh, loads of uh, video tutorials and presentations um, that I've done in the past for you to have a look at here as well on the Let's take this away. So on um, module number two of the starter kit is uh, where you are going to see um, 
if your social media channels are optimized uh, correctly. So I have um, an interactive social media checklist and a spreadsheet with um, six um, social networks with specific checklists. So with, with specific points that you can uh, look um, inside your um, your networks to see if things are set up properly. Okay, lots of tips and tricks in the video tutorials. And um, right at the end of this, um, right at the end of this uh, module, you will have also uh, a bunch of different um, audit reports that I've done in the past. So you can have a little look at what other be people um, have had as uh, when I audited their, um, their social media sites. Okay, um, I just want to also say that all throughout this course, you will have my entire support and you can contact me directly by email if you have a question. And also, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you accountable for doing some of these tasks because it's important to me that um, you have uh, a system and a structure to managing your social sites uh, correctly. On the module number three, it's where we're going to talk about content uh, management, um, creating a content calendar. Um, there, there is um, there is examples of uh, there is a, um, a spreadsheet that you can download um, as a template for a content calendar there as well, so that will um, help you. We'll also look into the anatomy of a social media post, you know, um, how to create a post. Um, you know, just do uh, some sort of a gap analysis. What gap analysis is, is um, just analysis where you are at the moment and where do you want to be where do you want to be in the future sort of thing and um, we'll look at some strategies to get you to that point to the end goal this in this module as well if you have if you're using a, a tool called Hootsuite Pro uh, there is some training there as well I have used Hootsuite Pro in the past um, but now I've um, started with a new tool that is giving me more, um, more than Hootsuite used to give me. Okay, so uh, the tool that I have is um, Digital Matchbox Pro, and you can do a test drive as well of that tool. Um, Lots of um, spreadsheets and templates and uh, Hootsuite, a bulk upload template there as well for you. So uh, lots, lots of information here to go through. So you can do this um, as quickly you know, or as fast as you would like. Um, when you have access to this course, you have access to a uh, lifetime access to it. So you can go at your own pace. And of course, ask for um, help along the way. Um, the module number four, just to finish off um, this call, and um, it's just uh, packed full of um, tips and tricks and how to save you time and money uh, with your social media um, tools. There's also uh, some advanced searching how to do some advanced searching on social media and um, tips on how to increase engagement. So again, video tutorials and um, exercises and downloads for you here. And if you have any questions, um, you can also access the Facebook group where I can help you there as well. Uh, and I'm always like uh, adding a lot of stuff to the membership site and the resources area. It's um, 
free to you when you purchase any of my courses. And I'm also adding uh, a, con uh, so a social media content challenge that I've run, I run in March of this year. Uh, sorry, in May of this year. Uh, I will run it again. And um, the second time that it's going to be run is going to come th straight into the membership site and you have all the, the, um, the days there. So that is um, being added as well. And of course, you know, if you're happy with the course or if you think that this course is beneficial to any of your um, community, you can become an affiliate. And um, at the moment, I'm giving a 25% uh, commission on, um, on the affiliate area, on the affiliate program. So let me stop this. So, yeah, so just let's, you know, just going to keep this brief. We'll have um, some more calls on a Wednesday at 2 o'clock uh, UK time, and which is 9 o'clock EST, and in the evening as well, 8 o'clock uh, UK time and 3 o'clock um, EST. And the last call for this week is going to be on Friday, just one call at 1 p.m. UK time, which will be 8 EST, 8 a.m. EST. So if you're interested, please show your interest in the um, uh, Facebook event page and let's connect and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.